Adams. Here. Adam Lee. Here. Adamowski. Adamson. Here. Adler. Here. Anderson. Anderson. Here. Bueller. 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 Surf Blue. Surf Blue. And Surf Blue is here. All right, you're in tune with the best station in the nation. That sounds good, but <laughs> I'll use it. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we got some special guests. Let's look at them. Oh, let's see. Can we focus? Oh, there's Donald. Picked him up with Wizards. Goofy. The pirate guy. You'll have to help me with that. Wolverine. Uh, the pirate guy I picked up at a thrift store for 50 cents. And I did hear it through the grapevine. Let's add him on that special guest list. The Johnny Carson Show. <laughs> or the Surf Blue Show. There you go. All right. Here's my second of my pickups. Oh, the video might be a little off. I'm going to show you what I got today. This is Thursday. So, uh, first, and then I'm going to show you the video games. But, <clears throat> I went to Wizards. Uh, waste a little time. Because I was going to meet my parents to uh, eat at the chicken restaurant, not chicken, Chinese restaurant, and I do have a, I pulled this out, I'll read it to you, and an unexpected payment is coming your way, this is from the fortune cookie, so you can't go wrong with your fortune, <laughs> all right, <clears throat> was at Wizards and I picked up this number 98 that was a cool cover and plus the special guest 97 and then I thought this was cool um, <clears throat> and I never came across one of these Europe 10 pound Captain Britain, number 38. I haven't opened it yet, but I think that I thought that was cool. Actually, I did pay three dollars for that. The other two, I paid a dollar. All right, let's go with the games. Okay, I was at this thrift store and I did get some movies, but I'm going to show you some of the games I kept the stickers on, and I picked up NCA. Basketball, Super Nintendo, $3. Super Mario Kart, needs work done. Get some of that junk off. Paid $5 for this one. And Home Alone 2 for $3. This one's pretty clean. Then I came across one I used to play a long time ago and actually forgot how this went but I only paid three bucks for you don't find these out and about especially in my area killer instinct so that and some movies <clears throat> I can't remember where I got this one but Tommy Boy actually it was filmed Part filmed in Sandusky, Ohio. That's what was an hour away from where I used to live, give or take. Uh, that's where Cedar Point is. You haven't gone to Cedar Point, and I haven't been since '81. So a lot has changed. One of the great movies I liked. Good actors. U.S. Marshal. Picked that one up. I picked this. I like Tom. 
It's right on my tongue. Sees more. Sees more. See. Oh, I can't. My mind can say it, but I can't say it. <laughs> so um, I like his acting. Sometimes pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I'll show that one. I had that one before. Picked that uh, Wizards. And I finally got dirt from Wizards. So, first one. Dirt 3 usually is a easy pickup or two. Okay, the other oh, pawn shop I went to. I got all this for five bucks. I picked up PS PSP game. Okay, my mind went just blank. Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> Russia from Love. I think this is complete. Yes, this is complete. I think all these are complete. Nope. This one's complete. <clears throat> Let's see if this one is. Yep, this is complete. This. And this. All for five bucks. Not bad. And then, I purchased some video games. I did get a mystery box that I haven't showed, but I'm going to go with the pickup, the video uh, Xbox pickup. And I got Halo figures, I'll probably show down the future. I paid all that bundle of 50 bucks. 16 games in the Halo figures. I've picked this so many times. <laughs> I've never played this yet. I haven't even finished the first one. <clears throat> then the original Xbox. Area 51. Tony Hawk. I'll go around with Tony. Had this. I still have it, I think. Good racing game. Halo 2. And does that have a map? No, this was not. Some of these are complete and some of them not. This is the one I wanted the most. And. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Stop production. <laughs> Actually, I picked this. It was sealed. If you haven't seen this one, it's a pretty good flick. Uh, I picked up that at the uh, pawn shop. These are the other games I don't know if that came with there or not so I'm get two then I picked this one a Wii game Goodwill and here's the receipt I paid two I paid two fifty for Slapshot 253. Let me show you these other Hold on. stuff. I want to show you those, com those comic books, too. Yeah, might do that. So, the statues later on. 
And then I'll have to make another video for the mystery box. I got Let's put this up here. Yeah. I used to get cracked a lot. I paid a dollar for this. Let's bring it cracked. I had this one before. Hope you can see all that. That was 1984. <clears throat> That's when I got it too. Uh, not this one, but when I bought it. That one. You know what I forgot? The snack of the day. Ain't that crazy? So I'll have to give the snack toward the end. Accepting 1992. These were a buck. Mad. I didn't get mad much. <laughs> uh, I guess that didn't come out right. I didn't get mad much. No, I didn't buy the Mad Magazine much. I do get mad once in a while. Uh, 1979, <clears throat> September of 88, 89, and I found this, I thought that was interesting, Spider-Man, March 94, I need to look into that, Dick Tracy, I used to have a hardback book of Dick Tracy. I don't know if it was that story or what. <clears throat> Wizard. Now, I did pay... Yeah, that was a buck. Now, I did pay $1.99 for this. Then, Fantastic Films. I remember this. I always thought Battlestar Galactica had better than Stormtroopers looks, I thought. 1979. Okay, let's go with the comic books. Finish with that. This, and then maybe I'll make another video of my mystery box later. <clears throat> this I pulled out in a mystery independent box. Ripley's, believe it or not, I did get pick up two, but I didn't want to show all of them. And this was the surprise and I like this it's kind of rough looking but to pull this out I used to watch it growing up the monkeys oh yeah I'll still take it it's going in the collection and it's staying in the collection now every day you find them Reggie and me number 47 I'll give you the numbers okay now these are just the pickups I got 220, number one, number 40, I always thought Phantom Stranger had some good covers, number 34, and actually it looks like Two-Face a little bit, I wonder what that is, I don't know. I don't think so, <clears throat> but it looks a little bit on this side. Number six. Yang. Number 17. Tomahawk. I like the checkered. Number 106. One thirty. Number 238. Number 10. And actually, I used to have this in my collection back then when I was growing up. So it was cool to find. It's always cool to find the stuff I used to have. <clears throat> Number 154. I think I paid a little bit more than that. 
Most of these were a dollar, but some of them were three or five. Two seventy seven. One forty nine. The Marvel team up is getting looking good. And I thought this was funny. So I picked it up. The new kids on the block. <laughs> it's number three. And this cover is crazy if you feel it. Number one, right with the teeth. <laughs> Just check it out. 284. Number one. 17. That should be interesting. 49. 116. 114. Number six. Always like these. Deluxe Edition. Number 18. And two oldies. Number 104. Then I didn't realize I picked up the 105. So cool on that. And <clears throat> I did pick up some cards today so I thought I'd open them up for you guys and see what we got Spider-Man Hammerhead there you go I always thought ooh Juggernaut I always thought uh, Spider-Man had some cool villains. A bad looking cards. We made some. Who makes these? Oh, flare. I think flare. Yep, flare. Thought so. Oh, the venom. A lot of people like venom. Ghost Rider. Oh, cool. And that. All right. And my snack for tonight, I'm sorry I didn't do it ahead of time, that was terrible. <clears throat> I do got water. This is always a theater uh, pickup on the candy end of it. It's always get good to get, grab a box of these and watch a movie. Raise nuts. Thank you, Nestle, for making these. And they're good. Okay, you're probably wondering what am I watching? Let me. Oh my. One of my favorite westerns groups. Let's see. I'll show you a few clips. A few. I'm not gonna show a lot, but I'm just gonna. Show you what I'm watching. It's the rough ride. Let me turn this other light off. I always like the music part in this. But I've told you some of the stories about some of these guys. But rough riders, I'm, I want to get volume three, so okay. Anybody gets volume three, let me know.
Nobody knows the Rough Riders. There's three of them. One of the stars are, is in the stagecoach. And he's actually a hero. He gave his life up. I've told the story before. I'll show you the guy. That's Buck Jones. That's the one who saved some lives in the Cas Casablanca Hotel. And it never came out. But he, he saved quite a few people. True story, you can look it up. Buck Jones. And when he gets mad, he starts chewing gum. Right smart of you, stranger, to offer no resistance. Maybe I have a lot of respect for fellows like you. You are coward for stopping, senor. Now, senorita, you can hand out the Garcia jewels. Jewels? I do not know what you're talking about. We have no jewels. No? Drag them out and search them. Get out of here! Don't you dare touch me! She has quite a temper. Save yourself a lot of trouble if you just reach in on the seat beside her. Go in and get them. That's Sandy Hopkins. That's the other. He's undercover. <laughs> Fine time of day to be mopping up. That should have been done this morning. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Tim McCoy, he, he served in the military. What are you putting in for, stranger? What are you getting all riled up about for? That was just an accident. Accident nothing. You ought to know how to handle a mopper now. Well, some people are born to handle mops. Some aren't. But you seem to know so much about it. Just pick up that mop and show him how. One well, the fastest. Well, Bill, it was fast, too. I'll pick that up and start mopping. Well, I'm sorry. I've been a swapper for 30 years, but I always did declare a fellow was never too old to learn. <laughs> he's in a lot of... What's this all about? He's always a villain, just about name's McCall, McCall, this guy. Fellow doesn't seem to think your swamper knows his business. So he's just showing him how to do the job. You're a cattle buyer, huh? And Tim McCoy I did some my name is Scully. movies on his own, too. Maybe I can help you out. I think they did Plus, seven or eight Rough Riders. Around ten, twelve dollars a head. Supposing we have a drink and talk it over. No, oh, thanks. I'm more interested in a square meal right now. Where's a good place to eat around here? It's old Sam's Chop House across the street. I'll go over and put on the nose bag, and when I come back, I'll talk to you about that last stop. And in the meantime, you keep mopping. <laughs> you. Turn it out, Max. Come on, have a drink and cool off. All right, this is Surf Blue, and I hope you enjoyed that little segment. But what I got, that's... And like I said, I'll have to make a video on the mystery box. It's a DC mystery box. Until next time, hang loose. Enjoy life. I'm out of here. Talk to you later. Bye.